guys, hope you all are having a great day. Now we are going to get into the regular upload here shortly. Dang it, I can't, I can't rev the car with one hand. Anyway, we are about to go meet the winner of our last ever InShaneDesigns.com giveaway. Chris, if you remember, we called him a few days ago and he was from New Jersey. So we didn't have to do flights or anything like that. He got here super quick, um, very easy, and uh, he should be at Whitmore in about 20 minutes. I might beat him there, I might not. But let's go meet Chris, and after that, we'll get into the regular upload. Should we give her the beans? The answer is always yes. <laughs> not bad for a base model, not bad. One of the great things, though, about the C8, it's not super, super fast. Don't get me wrong, still very fast and will throw you back in your seat and give you a shock, but you can use this car like 100% of it all the time. And there is Chris. What's up, man? Oh, Chris is in the car. Howdy, how are you? Good, how are you? That's Chris in the car, I assume. <laughs> What's up, buddy? How are you? Well, let me park real quick. Sorry, I'm late. My car is not as fast as your, your new one, you know? I got the base model one. Beautiful day too to take delivery of a new Corvette. Absolutely beautiful day for this. What a great day for this too, man. Beautiful weather, all cleaned up, looking good. What do you think so far? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> it's clean, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it's mint. Yeah. It's probably one of the cleanest, uh, you know, C6Zs you'll yeah. ever find, really. Yeah. 9,000 miles on it. Interior is green. Yeah. Everything. It's like a brand, it's like really a brand new car almost. It is. It's it like really a time is. machine. <laughs> little time capsule. Like right after I called, I didn't hang up right away. Yeah. And I, I let the phone, and you'll see it on the vlog. <laughs> um, but it was still running. And as soon as I was, we said our goodbyes and whatever. And then as soon as I put my phone down, all I heard was like a bunch of screaming in the background <laughs> before I hung up. All right, thank you. Bye. Yep, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> it was so great. It was great. My kids, my, all my kids that was there. <laughs> and so it was just perfect timing with everyone at the house. And right. I saw the 717 number. I was like, wow. And I was late calling too because yeah. I was I was down in Miami. I was picking up my TRX and like totally slipped my mind. Yeah. So you probably thought you didn't win. Yeah, no, and then you yeah. got the call. I was waiting. I was like, because I, I mean, I, I've been doing it since uh, the Enchain Design Mystery Box. Okay. Oh, so oh my I, God. Yeah. That was like four years ago. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I've been, so I've been <laughs> like uh, supporting Chao since then. Uh, well, I appreciate it, man. It's, it's funny, man. It's, it's, he kept saying, stop buying stuff. You're never going to win. You're never going to win. <laughs> <laughs> sure He's like, stop giving that guy money. <laughs> You're never gonna win. Uh, I got a couple knives. Uh, he always some, gets a couple knives. Yeah. The knives are sweet. This is how I got I know. a George. Because <laughs> <laughs> if I if I get like a shirt or anything else, she'll instantly see that I got something new. So I would just oh, so a knife you can hide it. Just hide it in the I door. see. Right, right, right. Did everyone believe you no, when you got no, the call? No, they thought it was a scam. All. Yeah, every, I mean, first I thing. What's happening right now? We're here, right in front of us. Every, it is real now. It's very real. It's, yeah. yeah. Uh, even him, he was like, I don't believe it until we go pick it off. Like, <laughs> I'm like, well, that's, that's what happens. I, mean, I, I eat one and he was like, uh, he just, I mean, now you believe it. Yeah, I'm it now. <laughs> now that you met Beeve and you did the yep. paperwork, wow. you know, now it's real, right? Now it's real. Right. Like, even pulling into here, just watching the videos of you pulling into here. I, was I know, like, I was driving like, in and I was like, I recognize this. This is this is my little parking lot here. I always film and everything else. That's how he recognizes you from jumping the jump in the Corvette and, and jumping the Lambos and, and all that. So if I say the guy who jumps stuff, he, he doesn't know the name. But that's like how I'm known now. They introduced me that down at the dealership in Miami. They were like, this is the, they were like street speed, and people were like, who? It's like the guy who jumps like the T Rex, and they're like, oh that guy. You're sure you don't want to drive yeah, it? I'm sure. Now I told him. I was like, if you stall it, whatever, I'll edit that right out. Nobody will ever know. I am 100 percent sure. Oh man, but you said it's been how long since you drove them? 24 in? years. 24 so years. Since I was 15. So. Oh, you never forget though. You'll be fine. <laughs> I'm gonna do it holding a camera even. That's how easy the Corvettes are. And because it's got you know it's got so much power yeah. that like you can let off the clutch and really kind of it'll just go. You know, it'll really do it on its own. It's almost hard to stall one of these. Last one I drove, I had uh, it was my first car, the uh, 1989 Geo Spectrum. Okay, a Geo? <laughs> Hell yeah. Old, old school. Well, that was about as fast as this, you know. I mean, that's they're, they're very similar. Uh, maybe maybe 80 Same hour. company, same uh, parent company. How long was the drive uh, here? Two hours. Oh, that's, dude, that's like nothing. Yeah, I said in the, in the beginning of this upload here, I was like, 
we didn't have to fly him in or nothing, so you were here pretty quick. I just called yeah. you on what Sunday, <laughs> yeah. and you're here. <laughs> I know. I was wanted to come up on Wednesday. I was gonna take off work. <laughs> <'cause it was laughs> like, That's great. But I was like, uh, uh, we had to do the paperwork and everything like that. So. And you know, some people, it's weird, and I've said this before, but like. Some people will win, not often, but some, sometimes, will be like, all right, when do you want to come get the car? And they'll be like, well, I don't really know. And then, like, it's, it's like hard to get them to come get it. And I'm like, you don't want it? The best part was I joined on my birthday. Really? Yeah, February uh, was the 23rd. That's your birthday? Yeah. Your birthday, wait a minute, your birthday is February 23rd? Yeah. Dude, that's my birthday. Uh, I know. <laughs> what, are you serious? Yeah. Dude, no way. Yeah. I got to see your license. No yeah. way, dude. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That I, is crazy. I joined them. I was like, I was, I was no home. Way. I took off from work and I said, you know what? I'm going to. No I was way. watching one of your videos and I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going to join. What are know? the chances I of that? <laughs> so, how old are you? Uh, 39. 39. Yeah. Okay, I'm 29. <laughs> yeah. it, it's such a good. That NA power band oh, yeah. is beautiful. And the gearing is long. Like, we're at 50 right now. We'll go to second gear. Ready? <laughs> I'm sorry. I think you'll be doing that quite a lot <laughs> here very soon. Well, I hope you like it. I do. I, I do, and I appreciate it. Glad to hear it, man. Uh, I can't. I still can't believe. <laughs> even though I'm well, in the car with you. About five minutes from now, you'll be driving it yourself, or I guess your dad's yeah, driving it. Yeah, It'll be really real then. Yeah. What's up guys? Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Hope all I can barely walk. Hope all of you are having a great day. Uh, flavor of the day is rainbow sherbet. Yes, there is a stove in the garage. I'll explain shortly. I've been doing the flavor of the day segment in the videos the past couple of uploads and never thought it would, it would be noticed. I wasn't looking for that. Really, I wasn't. I drink these anyway. You know, I buy them, whatever. But Rain emailed me and said they saw it and said, we'd like to send you some drinks. So I'm pumped about that, really pumped. So I have to say that if you see me talk about it in, in the future, just know I'm getting free drinks now, I think. Anyway, moving on, my life is a freaking disaster. Let me show you here. So you guys know about the shop, all that. Well, today is a very exciting day because if I, if I reach into my keys here, into my pocket rather, and grab my key. Where are they? In the stove, of course that's where they are, in the stove. But yes, I have the keys, and today is moving day into the new building, my own building. And I wanna thank you guys for your awesome support over the last uh, really month. Um, you know, it's been crazy. My life got turned upside down. Shane said he was stepping away, and I had to scramble. But I think I've moved pretty quick, and I guess I didn't realize like I, my focus was just getting a new building, right? I didn't care that it was going to be my own building now. But when I got these keys, it really hit me like, man, this is yours. Your company, your building, do whatever you want and it's yours to grow. And that really was a big deal. Like it started hitting me today when I got the keys. I was like, man, th these are my keys. Nobody else's, my keys. Full disclosure, Shane and I did split everything 50-50 for the old business, expenses and profits, but we had our own stuff as well because he had you know, the wrap shop, ISD, he had family partners to pay and all that. So I didn't own the building. Now I paid the expenses on the building along the way, but I didn't own it. And again, not, I didn't think it was a bad thing and I didn't worry about it. But now that I have my own, like it really, I guess I didn't understand how much it meant to me to have my own building because now that I have it, it's like, wow, this is really cool. So I'm pumped and I'm really pumped also to get my garage back. Um, it has been a disaster. I can't tell y'all how stressful it is to walk in here every day and see this. It really is truly terrible. Thank God the ZR1 is down in Texas anyway because I have no space. And then the stove broke. I had to get a new stove. I installed that this morning, got the box over there. I've got wheels for a car that's not here yet. Soon to be not shambles, but I do wanna warn you, the new building ain't anything cool yet. I've got big, big plans for it, but right now it's an empty warehouse. So don't expect to be like blown away by anything neat. However, I am going to build it into a really, really epic car space. So let's do that. I'll show you the blank slate first and then we'll come back and uh, see what we can get done. All right guys, well, it's super windy. I couldn't film outside at all, but there you can see the truck 
is right there chilling and that's the front of the building. I'll show you that when it's not like 40 mile an hour wind. I haven't been in here since I went to look at the building. So this is kind of new for me too. I literally, I've been in here one time. I uh, literally have not had a chance to check anything out. We do have a little kitchen. Here you go guys, a little kitchen. Okay, got that set up. Put the lights on. Okay, we need some light bulbs in there. All right, we got one light. Um, but yeah, a little kitchen, a little window. Walk back in here into the office space. Now this is pretty nice right here. We have a little office space. Um, again, we're gonna do something about the lighting. We're gonna improve that. Flip on everything here. Just turn every switch on. We will also probably have retail. So in other words, if you're local or you're traveling through, you can come here and buy stuff. That's something I always wanted to do and uh, we just never really did for whatever reason, but I love that idea. You know, especially if you're local, you can save on shipping, still get entered for the giveaway. You come here, you can buy stuff, and it's really neat because we have these windows so you can kind of see the behind the scenes. And I'll open the door right here, and this is it. Now again, sorry for the lighting is going to be not great in here yet, although there is another line. Maybe I can get these all on for you. I know the GoPro doesn't do great in low light. Let me open the big door, actually. Here we go, let there be light. Let there be light. <laughs> oh yeah. But yes, you can see now with the TRX for scale, it's a pretty big building because the TRX is a massive truck, a really big truck and uh, it fits in here quite nice. This is gonna let the wind blow in, but we can get a little bit more light here if we open that door, and suddenly you got a pretty bright space. We'll have really nice natural light for photos and video. It looks, I mean, look at it, it looks really cool in here already. I mean, even as it is, before I do all the cool stuff, the flooring, the paint, all the other things I have planned, even before that, it's pretty cool. I'm sure you can tell, I'm very pumped, very excited. April is going to be amazing. April 2nd, our first ever giveaway launches. In here, everything will be done and ready for April 2nd. Enjoy the view, because after I film this, I will be moving everything in here and it will never be empty again. All right, so this will be a big one. Let me see if I can do it here. All right, one, two, Bam, there it is guys. The garage is looking pretty good. I can see the floor, that's a start. Now I do still have some wheels and tires over here. I've got new wheels there. So we're not done yet, but we're really getting there. My mental health is a lot better now than it was a little bit ago. Still didn't get rid of the stove either, but I feel like rather than just to throw that out, I might take it to the farm for a little explosion test. That might be fun. But yes, floors looking good, garage getting there. Gotta clean the floors, throw out a few more things. Uh, but we're close. Now, for the black Corvette over there, that is the same Corvette that's the CS giveaway car. The one that was OD green, wrapped in the matte green with the 717 arrow and the different wheels. Well, that car has a whole new look now and it's really awesome. But I wanna make it look really good first. So let me wash it and then I'll meet you at the shop for a, a full tour. You know, I had to give her a few revs just to make sure all the neighbors know what's coming. Now, I'm gonna try to keep everyone really happy, but I can't make any promises. However, here is the car. It looks really freaking cool. And I was a little bit concerned going from the green, you know, a really unique eye-catching color to a more generic black, but I love it. So we did the, uh, I think they're MMR, yeah, or MR, MRR, um, Z06 style wheels. We did the full Z06, Z07 aero, including the wing and the front splitter up there, you can see. But I mean, the cool part, yeah, is the wing. And this is from a company called Sagala, and I'll put their name up on the screen. Really nice people. I met them at Corvettes of Carlisle, met the owner, Ernie, really awesome guy. They build these wings to factory spec for the Z06. And uh, one thing I'll say about GM, I'm not gonna rant about it because it's not a big deal, but their carbon quality, isn't that great. My point is the carbon quality on this is easily as good, if not maybe even a little better than factory GM quality. And that goes for the rest of the arrow as well. But yeah, I love it. I mean, at first glance, you would think it's a Z. It really does. I mean, it would fool even me, I think, if I saw it gone down the road or the opposite way on the highway. Yeah, when you get up close, you can tell it doesn't have the wide body. And the big giveaway is the non-center exit exhaust, although there are companies that make that, which would be really cool, and that wing 
reminds you how ugly the base model wing options are because that one, the base model options are terrible. That one looks really cool. But yeah, you guys can win this car. One of you is going to take this car home really soon. Link down below, your own baby Z06, really epic. And uh, the cool thing about these giveaways, there are only 1,000 spots. Once they sell out, they're gone, and that's it. So you have a one in 1,000 chance or more because you can buy up to five posters uh, if you want, and every poster comes with an automatic entry to win the car. So you have a one in 1,000 shot or up to a five in 1,000, one in 200 shot to win the car. And yes, we do donate 5K to charity with every one, and the charity for this car is Canine Hurricanes Heroes. I'm sure you guys know about them by now. But yes, link down below if you'd like to get entered for your own Baby Z. And I think it turned out really, really awesome. And uh, we're about halfway sold out. And usually, once the numbers start dropping, they go faster. So if you want in, check it out now. Thank you and good luck. The only giveaway I have going on right now for a little while until we get running here. But like I told you, I told you I was going to move quick. So I hope you enjoyed the view of the empty warehouse in the beginning of the vlog because it's filling up. And real quick, I forgot to say, we are also filling the holes and painting the bumper. So those are the holes for the original ugly four post GM wing. And uh, you know, they're there from the factory if you get the one of the wing options. So now that we have a two post, we're getting those taken out. But don't worry, that's gonna be fixed. Can't lie guys, it's been a long day. Very long, but very productive, very good. Got my garage back. Shop looking good, C8 Corvette looking good. Everything is coming together. But on that note, it, it has been a long day. I'm going to end it here. So hope you all enjoyed. If you did, give this upload a big thumbs up. Take care and have a great night.